Do you want me to do a full walk? Yeah, 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 yeah totally. I'll just put it down and then I'll do a walk down and then we'll raise it up. Okay, okay so your brand new MV International uh, tandem maxle truck here with a 16 foot chipper body. The chipper body will hold 30 cubic yards of chips. Uh, so you can chip all day into there. You don't have to go back and forth to unload your chips. Here you got uh, storage for your ground protection mats. So you go lay those mats on the ground, then drive over them with their equipment to prevent uh, wrecking the ground. So you just put these up, slide your mats in and out. You can pull them out either side. Got a through cabinet here. Uh, just I general think storage. More detail into these trucks, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's not enough. It's not thought out well enough, I don't think. <laughs> You've aluminum hydraulic tank. Uh, we have the toolbox and the stainless steel cam locks. So I'll probably put his fuel on that one. Uh, in the wheel wells here we have wheel chocks, both sides. So you can chalk it off while you're doing your chipping. Okay. Um, smooth aluminum sides, all our chipper bodies have a smooth aluminum side. A lot of guys will put their decals on there so it's a nice big billboard. It's a single sheet rather than the corrugated sheet. So the one single panel gives you more internal chip space as well. Okay. And it's quarter inch, so it's got lots of uh, lots of strength. Why is it uh, vented? The top? Uh, so yeah, vents across the tops so when you're blowing your chips in, you're blowing a lot of air in with the chips. Yeah. The air's gotta get out. Yeah. So the air blows out of those vents. Yeah, yeah otherwise it blows back into the, over the chipper and the guys that are doing the chipper are getting covered in dust yeah. all the time. Okay. Um, yeah, cone holder. At the back here, Definitely. on both sides, heavy duty hitch plate, half inch steel, gusseted. Um, we have 36 inch barn doors, heavy duty hinges, and stainless steel cam locks again. The doors open up and latch to the side, obviously for dumping. Um, so we'll just close this one and climb up there. So you got full access to the roof here. So this step will swing. So when your cones are on here and you're dumping, this will swing away without crushing your cones. So easy access to the top here. Holy. You know I won't. We set the roof back here. Um, typically the roof is straight across here. We always set a roof back so you can stand on your yeah. tailgate without leaning back. Then you have access to your ladders here. You can step here as well so you can climb up here real easy. And here you got a removal of bench brace. little uh, four inch bench vise, put the chainsaws in there and sharpen the chainsaws. So it's a convenient way of doing that. In the cabinet here we have a pull out. So it's a lock and lock out tree. Comes out 48 inches so they put whatever equipment on there, rope bags or saws or whatever equipment on there. Locks in so it doesn't slam around when you're driving. And everything here is all Aluminum or stainless steel on pretty much the entire body. So no uh, rust. No rust. And light. We don't like steel. Yeah. 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 Aluminum is one third the weight of steel. So with aluminum, you use some thicker gauges here and there, but overall the entire body is less than half the weight of a steel body. Chip water stuff. So the hoist is powered with a PTO, and this unit has a scissor hoist, that's our preferred hoist. This is a twin six inch scissor hoist, so it's got way more capacity than it actually needs, but we like to build things, we oversize the scissor hoist. Yeah. So it's a very stable hoist, so if you're on uneven ground, the scissor hoist helps to prevent the body from swaying, whereas a, a cylinder at the front, like a telescopic hoist, the body has a lot more sway, so it makes things a lot more rigid. And we always aim for about a 45 to 50 degree dump angle to make sure everything comes out. We don't try skimp out there. Yeah. 
I think that's about it. Is this a typical spec or is this anything particularly um, different about this no, one? They're, everyone's a little bit unique, right? But a lot of the features are, are built in there, right? The, the design of the chip body is, is very typical, right? Like the quarter and sides, all the chip bodies are made like that. Yeah. Um, difference in obviously the, the length and the width and the height, right? Some are, this one is 72 inches high. We can go up to 84 inches high. Yeah. Um, we, some guys prefer 60 inches high. Yep. So the difference is there. Um, not everyone wants the ladder racks on top. Yep. Um, but yeah, a lot of those little features like the vise and the toolbox and the cabinet, they're all very common for all these all these airbursts. Yep. Yeah. So I, I want to say, I know that you, know, you have a reputation, you'll equip for it taking a long time to get things ready. Yeah. And, but really, it is. Like how long does it take? Like if we were ordering this fresh and we said we wanted this box like today, how long would you tell it would take people to, to get it ready? So right now, our lead times are the longest they've ever been. We've just exploded in business due to COVID. All of our customers are extremely busy. All our landscapers are busy. All the arborists are busy. Yeah. Um, so we've really fallen behind that way. Our production's actually up, but our orders, are, our sales are, are up significantly. So Good. right now, we're booking out to about January, February next year. So, but I mean, John, you have to agree. Like, that's crazy, right? Crazy timing, but it's worth it. What's like, this is so worth waiting for. What's the alternative? The alternative is to go with steel, which is going to be maybe a couple of months because everybody's busy. Yeah. And then steel, it's more weight. It doesn't last as long. It's just there's there's no comparison. You got to wait for for quality. Yeah. If that's if that's what's happening with the industry, then that's what you got to live with. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the bottom line. Yeah. And there's other aluminum chipper buys in the market. They're but they're not, not like this. They're not like this. They're not built the same. <laughs> I've seen the other construction, yeah. right? We have a quarter inch floor and there's cross members every 12 inches throughout. We've got sill gussets tying everything together. So it's a very robust platform that we built our body up from. Um, and we've had, you know, competitor bodies come back here that, you know, our customers have gone somewhere else because they couldn't wait and yeah. they regret it almost every time. Right. They come back here and we're doing repairs or upgrades and spending a lot of money yeah. um, to, um, put a lot of these features in that were missing when they got yeah. their body. I have one. Yeah. <laughs> I have one on the on, on the GM. Okay. And that's, you know, it's just not worth going out and getting it. You're better off to wait. Yeah. That's why this is going to work today. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> when did you call me? Was it? Uh, Gosh. Was it August or so yeah. last year? Yeah. 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 Right? yeah. You August said I got a truck coming. Yeah. I want it in. March or April, cool. yeah. so we said, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. But look at the lead time we need it. Good yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's all about all planning beyond. ahead, forecasting, yeah. you know, a year That's in advance, yeah. which is hard to do, but you have to do um, it. But you have to do it. It's got to be part of your business yeah. plan. It's it not is. a reflex decision. It's That's something right. you got to plan yeah. out. A yeah. lot of arborists, though, that are in the industry, they don't understand that. So what they're going to do is they're going to they're going to learn the hard way. Yeah. They're just not going to plan their own getting larger, right? Like for me, I'm going to get another truck. I'll probably let them know by, I would say, in another month to two months that I've got another one, and then we'll get fitted in so we can get it again in April. Well, yeah. and, and look, we have to, this has nothing to do with the equip, yeah. but finding chassis right now, that, that is a real, yeah. real tough thing to yeah. do. Yeah. So, look around. we got to start now. The guy that I got this from, he's already looking for another one for me. He told me within two months he'll have another one. Perfect. So, as soon as he tells me, then it gets relayed down the line, right? Yeah. You know, they know, yeah. and we get slotted in. Yeah. Well, that's great. I Everybody's getting awesome. used to waiting now. I, I know. That's true, right? <laughs> COVID, you well, got no you choice. Like this yeah. All the time. yeah. Not anymore. Yeah. No. Yeah. Not yeah. Anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now you got to do way more planning. And you're not going to get this from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ivan. That was a yeah. wonderful presentation, and we learned a lot. And uh, thanks, Don. I no think problem. it's going to be a great truck. Thank yeah. you. For